death was often swift and inexplicable in ancient Rome, but it was not unexpected. Skeletal remains from the city show that over half the dead in Rome did not see their fifth birthday, probably as a result of cramped and unhygienic conditions, made worse by Rome's location in an area that in antiquity suffered from endemic malaria. Tombs like these had to be located outside the religious boundary of the ancient city. They also tended to cluster along the main highways to and from the city, like this one. So these two factors put together created a densely built-up landscape of graves, a city of the dead, a necropolis. But this area was also mixed with suburban activities linked to the highway traffic, like stables, hotels and rows of shops. We're now in a burial complex that the Romans would have called a columbarium. Normally, you would have been cremated after death in ancient Rome, and your ash urn would have been placed in these wall niches. Above each niche, you have a painted decoration where you have, would have the name of the deceased person and his or her profession, and lifespan, relatives and so on. So here's a potentially gold mine of information concerning the lives and persons that once inhabited the city of Rome. Columbaria could range from small for a single family to massive in size. In the same manner as the Roman elite, you wanted to be buried in a proper tomb, in a good spot near one of the major roads. But this cost more money than most could afford. One solution was to join a burial club where the annual fees covered the cost for your eventual burial and tomb. For the destitute and for slaves that could not even afford this kind of membership, there only remained burial in unmarked mass graves. From around AD 200, cremations were replaced by the burial of full bodies. This required much more space than cremations, and so columbaria were replaced by multi-storey underground complexes, the so-called catacombs. This was how most people were buried, not only Christians. The known catacombs in Rome contain an estimated 500,000 tombs. This sounds quite a lot, but not if we put it next to the estimated 40,000 dead in ancient Rome each year. So there are clearly a lot of tombs still to be discovered. Death might have been inexplicable, though that only made it even more important to make it meaningful and dignified. The forms of burial might have varied, but they all formed a lasting bond between living and dead. There was an urge for everyone with even the slightest means to put up some kind of tomb to ensure that they were remembered after death. That also provides us with a unique window into the world and sensations of the vast majority of Romans those that would not normally be heard in texts and seldom are visible in the material record. <laughs>